Magandang araw sa inyo mga boss at welcome back sa ating Muntin Channel. Hambog na Mexican boxer bagsak sa Pinoy sa loob lamang ng round 4. Isa sa naging undercard sa labang Dunaire at Rafael Concepcion ng batang Pinoy na si Mark Jason Meligen. Tubong Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines, isang southpaw boxer. Naging pro boxer sa taong 2006, isa rin si Meligen sa top prospect ng Pilipinas sa Junior Welterweight Division. Naging sunod-sunod ang panalo nito hanggang lumaban na ito sa labas ng bansa. At ito unang nakatikim ang talo by a knockout sa isang South Korean boxer para sa titulong interim WBO Asia Pacific Super Lightweight title. Pero hindi ito nawala ng pag-asa. Muling bumangon ito sa pagkatalo. Ginawang motivation ang naging unang karanasan sa pagkatalo nito. Sunod-sunod ang naging panalo nito at lumalaban na rin sa ibang bansa. At naipanalo nito ang unang laban sa bansang Amerika by a knockout sa round 5. Hanggang nakalaban nito ang isang veteranong boxer ng Mexico na si Ernesto Gipida. May edad na itong 32 years old, isang orthodox boxer na may boxing record noon na 39 wins, 12 losses, 4 draw, and 34 knockout. Naging challenger sa IBA World Super Lightweight title. Matuturing natin ito na isang gatekeeper para kay Mili Jen para magkaroon ng isang malaking laban o world title fight. Samantala naman si Mili Jin ay may boxing record noon na 15 wins, 1 loss, and 11 knockout. Ginanap ang laban sa Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Undercard sa labang Dunaire at Concepcion. Pinakitaan ang maangas na galawan ang ating Pinoy boxer sa veteranong boxer ng Mexico. Ito po ang naging highlight sa kanilang laban. And is it me or the 90% of the fighters that come from the Philippines? Uh, happen to be left-handed. There are a lot, although uh, Donaire, really of course, are. an exception. And uh, but, it, what, Brian, do you think that a lot of the is where you wouldn't get fights? But it is true when you're left-handed. Of course, there are inherent advantages. Yeah, different. Sort of Ricky Hatton, Matthew Hatton lost a very close eight-round decision in May on one of the undercard of well, with a, a Filipino and a Briton, a British guy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Which I guess if you mix them together, you get a Mexican. <laughs> 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 and we'll give them your email address to send you all the letters. Under right. under. <laughs> We're halfway for somewhere in there. Is there a guy that feels like he wants to sit down on his punches more? I think, I think he seems like he's a type of fighter that wants to sit down on his punches and, and just let his hands fly. The way he's fighting and the, the way his record shows it is 11 knockouts out of 15. I believe he has uh, powers in his hands. And, we referenced and boy it moves the pay to back and punctuates a very good first round for Mark Mulligan. You're gonna replay with Mulligan catching Zepeda with a nice straight left hand. Mulligan really you are a legitimate world champion. And that's the strength of the sport right now that you internationally it is it is just exploded all over the world. And I think yeah, uh, everybody I can appreciate the talent. You're absolutely right. We're about halfway through round number two. It's Mario, Lo Mario Lopez and uh, Brian Valoria, IBF Junior Flyweight. Some some dangerous uh, some dangerous fighters who you really have to. Pat Milligan, the left hander on the left of your screen against Ernesto Zepeda. It's been uh, fast paced two rounds. Nice uppercut oh. by Milligan gets in. I sort of caught him in the chin slash throat. He's on the cusp of contention perhaps. Nice body shot. Milligan listens to his corner and goes down to the body. Yeah, and against a 32-year-old, you would make me uh, prehistoric. No. <laughs> <laughs> and me old, and, and not, uh, oh, I don't know, 80s and new 20s then. <laughs> oh, 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 my oh. goodness, all right. <laughs> and to think I was so nice no, in following your kidding. fight. <laughs> very good crazy. point. Yeah, that's a very good point, Mario. And under a minute left to go, is there enough time for Melligan to get Zepeda down or out? Zepeda... Melligan, the left-hander. Zepeda, the righty, with the white stripe down his trunk. Beneath his left eye. Seems to have given Melligan an extra burst of energy. In this fight, his turn, and Melligan, using those straight left hands, has really altered this fight. Big A left big again left by Melligan. Stuns Zepeda and puts off the rope. That cut, and just wants to expose it even more. 
point. There's a jab with his left jab, left hooks, right. And now a complete arsenal of punches in some deep water here. And you mentioned now it's not in the of a big left. Powerful, and he shows in his legs too. Oh big my! Left hand. Can Zepeda withstand much more of this, either in this round or even to come out for round five? The corner is going to have to take a good look at that eye and just take a good look at that fighter because this is a lot of Oh, there that is, is a knockout. Manalo si Willie Jean by a technical knockout sa round 4. Naging maganda ang laban nito kontra sa veteranong boxer ng Mexico. Lumaban pa ng pitong bisis si Millie Jean bago ito nakaharap ng isang boxer na magpapahirap sa kanya sa loob ng ring. Taong July 2011, nakasagupa ng ating kababayan ang isang Argentinian boxer na si Sebastian Andres Lujan na sa mga unang laban nito ay naging challenger sa isang world title fight sa WBO welterweight title, IBO super welterweight title at WBO super welterweight title. May boxing record noon na 37 wins, 5 losses, 2 draws and 23 knockout. At sa naging laban nga nito, naging isang bangungot sa Pinoy boxer na si Mele Jen. Luhan will come in there with his head. Well, as long as he uses that southpaw jab, controls that range, he can keep Luhan out there. And then when Luhan tries to come in, he falls forward and he goes straight back. Gives you that upper body. His head gets in front Tonight, of course, to the very round two against Sebastian Luhan. Considers himself a close friend of Donaire, doesn't know Pacquiao at all, and trains out of Floyd Mayweather's gym in Vegas. So no Pacquiao connection instead of Mayweather connection. At the end of his career, not the best Chris Steele. When he's the condition of Luhan taking a fight on eight days notice, and if it's not had a win on May 13th against Jorge Miranda back home in Argentina. Setting up that left hand and then counterpunching when Luhan tries to southpaw can strike home. Blood coming to very capable 25 games of course available on ESPN3.com. You know if I'm Melligan I'm concentrating on action for Melligan. Everything to the head. Take a look here. We talk about Luhan leading that head forward where he leads it forward in. Round number four with a right hand as both men really pick up the pace here. Ship heads that caused that cut. Now Luhan's one of these guys that's seen a lot. Goes a great down. Melican. Look at the confidence, Teddy. He landed that right hand in the midst of that exchange, and he just keeps coming after him. Maybe lose early, oh, we got but win late by just keep coming and coming. Like the tie, Vito Wilmore is the cut oh, man. Look at this. Wuhan fighting with his hands at his side and then going after Melligan. Not how mentally tough Melligan is tonight. Gets too close at the right spot. And that uppercut again is there for Melkin as Luhan. I have a funny feeling. Holding behind the head there for a moment. He's gonna find that right hand with the southpaw because again, watch Melkin gonna go back. He steps back, he leans on that left side. The side of the right hand. And then you touch him enough, something good's gonna happen. Luan throws a lot at you. Again, no power. But always throwing something at you, but he always gives you a chance to catch him too. Makes a lot of mistakes leaning forward. There's another right hand that he scores.
lifted him up with that left hand. And Luhan just did a little shake and bake. And then turns the tables and comes on with an offensive assault of his own. And again, there's a method to the madness of Luhan with that shake and bake, as you called it. It's to, again, show disregard for everything that Melican does. And another way, besides the punches and the pressure, to break Melican down, to make him stop believing in himself, and to believe that he cannot affect Luha. Of course he has a say. But Luhan's trying to make him believe he doesn't. A little bit of breaking, giving in. Here it is again. Look at Luhan. Apat na bisis itong bumagsak sa Luna. Hanggang sa round 9 na nga ay dito natuluyang bumagsak si Millie Jen at hindi na ulit ito tumayo. Isa sana sa pinakamalaking break sa kanyang boxing career para sa isang world title fight kung naipanalo pa sana nito ng ating kababayan ang laban. Ang pagkatanong ito ay kinimkim ng husto ng Pinoy boxer. Isang malaking upset ang naging laban. Dito gumuho ang karir ni Millie Jen, lumaban pa ito ng dalawang beses sa taong 2012 at nagawa nitong in-knockout ang mga kalaban. Ito na pala ang huling laban ni Millie Jen sa loob ng ring. Nagkaproblema ito sa pinansyal at naging homeless, kaya pumasok ito sa pinagbabawal na gamot. Naaristo sa isang bypass operation at nakunan ng pinagbabawal na asin at humantong sa kulungan. Sa panahon ng interrogasyon, sinabi ni Minijin na nakatira siya sa mga kalye at inamin rin nito na gumagamit ng pinagbabawal na asin. Nagpahayag rin ito ng pagkabigo dahil sa napabayaan na ito ng kanyang trainer at kanyang karir. Naging miserable ang kanyang buhay at karir pagkatapos matalo kay Sebastian Andres Lujan. Nasayang ang karira ni Minijin sa boxing na silaw sa pinagbabawal na asin. So yan na po ang ating video sa ngayon mga boss. Maraming salamat po. Big right hand in the sixth round.